sweeties, this is Erica Johnston and welcome back to my channel. A lot of you have been sending me messages lately that you're finding your gray hair transition a little bit difficult, it's making you feel old, and I hear you. So in today's video, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks to help you feel a little more youthful. All right, so a while back I did a video about this and I gave you five different ways to look more youthful. I'll link that here in case you haven't already seen it. The first strategy that I'm gonna give you today is to think about where you're parting your hair and whether or not that's the right part for your face shape. So I have a heart-shaped face. As you can see, I've got a really pointed chin. I've got just like that slight little widow's peak here and then I've got a lot of volume, I guess, in the cheek area here. So I can part my hair in the middle and then I can also part it on the side, which you've seen me do a lot. When I part on the side, it sort of de-emphasizes my pointed chin. So I want you to take a look at your face shape. Shelly from Fabulous 50s has an amazing video about how to tell your face shape if you don't already know. I'm going to show you how to choose the right hairstyle for your face shape. Some people think they're an oval and it turns out they're you know, a diamond or something like that. So she's got a great video, I'll link it below. So the best thing to do is just play around with it a little bit. Part your hair in the middle, part it over to the side, do a deep side part. That might even change things up a little bit. And there's also the zigzag part where you take your comb and zigzag it and then let it fall. And that looks really pretty as well. Once you get to the end, Kind of use um, your finger on one side and then lift and separate, lift and separate. So play around with different parts and see if maybe that might change up your look a little bit for you. All right, so your second youthful strategy is with gray hair, it can tend to look kind of dry, dull, maybe brittle, you know, so you want to give it some shine and luster and make it look really pretty. So I recommend using some kind of serum. I've got two that I'm gonna show you today, but there are so many out there in the market and maybe you have some already of your own that you love. Let me know in the comments section below. So this one I really like. It's a bit heavy though. Just be careful, you don't wanna to use too much of it. But this is Original Root Stimulator ORS Olive Oil Silken and Shine. It's also Heat Protection Serum. I've talked about this one before but it's so nice and I actually put a little bit on before I started filming and I just rubbed it into my hands and then I put it on and it just gives me so much shine. You could also probably use coconut oil straight up. I have not tried it yet, but a lot of you have said that that works and it's very, very natural. This one is Goldwell Dual Senses, Just Smooth. It's a six effect serum. I also really like this one for flyaways. So that's another thing you can do. It really, it really does make a difference. That shine, it just brightens you up and it makes you look more youthful. So give it a try. So the third thing you can do, now this is a hard one. If you've been plucking your eyebrows <laughs> for many, many years, you may have found that they're not growing in anymore. Or maybe you're getting white eyebrows like myself. You know, these are all things that we have to deal with as we get older. So one nice thing that can really make you look more youthful is if you've got really overplucked thin eyebrows is to pencil them in to make them look a little bit thicker and that's a more youthful look. Also look at the color of your eyebrows and if you have very, very light eyebrows, you might want to use a powder and make them maybe a little bit darker, not too dark, <laughs> but that does frame your face nicely. You also want the edge of the eyebrow to come out to almost the edge of your eye and not be too short in here. And also you don't want to over pluck in this area either. You want to try to keep some eyebrow in here. Beware of the dreaded sperm eyebrows <laughs> as I call them. And that's where you have sort of that thick part here and then it goes really, really thin and that's very, very dated look as well. When I was a little girl, I had like pretty much Bert and Ernie eyebrows. <laughs> Think Brooke Shields. All right, so number three is how you're doing your makeup and you want more of a natural look. I did do a makeup tutorial for hooded eyes. I'll link that above here as well. But it is true that as you get older, you know, less is more. So you really wanna go for a more natural look. 
try to steer clear of too many trendy colors, that sort of thing. So for your makeup, just go easy. You know, forget the 80s blush. Remember the blush when you used to do really, really, you know, solid line up the cheek? That's just, it's not good anymore. You just wanna have a little color on the apples of your cheeks. You know, you wanna open up your eyes. Under eye concealer is always my best friend. <laughs> A little bit of color on the lips and that sort of thing so just try to go really light on the makeup but makeup is nice right I mean it kind of makes us feel good and and wakes us up sometimes <laughs> it's a natural never goes out of style all right so my fifth strategy to incorporate in your lifestyle is to get fit and active be active this brings, you know, blood to our faces. It makes us feel good. It gives us endorphins, you know, that sort of feel good way of being. So just get moving and you will feel so good. I've got a few workout videos on my channel that you can do. I do plan on making some more workout videos for you. So the only thing that I'm not sure is what kind to do for you. I don't know if you want to have beginner workouts, you know, more advanced, that sort of thing. So you'll have to let me know in the comment section, okay? All right, so the final strategy for looking more youthful with gray hair is to kind of lose the preconceived notion that gray equates with old. And I know it's hard, it's really, really hard to do. But if you feel old inside, then you look old on the outside. It's just the way it is. You know, what you, what you feel inside projects outwardly. I just want to tell you, no matter how old you are, you are only as old as you feel. And I truly have believed this my whole life. I remember when I was 16 years old, I could actually connect with 80 year olds, you know, because the 80 year olds that I connected with were youthful on the inside. And I still feel like that today. My next door neighbor who passed away a few years ago, I loved her so much. She was 90 years old and still kicking. <laughs> she is one of my major role models. She lived alone, you know, her husband had passed away a few years earlier and she was still mowing her lawn, she was grocery shopping, she was getting together with friends and she just had such a zest for life. She was funny, you know, and she could just relate. She used to make cookies for all the kids in the neighborhood and like give them, you know, the cookies before their dinner. But she just was such a great lady. And I've always looked up to older women who live like that because that's my goal, 100%. And you know, I remember when I was in my, I'd say late 20s, and I met this woman who was the age that I am now, early 40s. and. I remember her saying to me, because I, I, I didn't know why she didn't like me and I really wanted her to like me, but you know, she said to me, Erica, it's not you, it's me. She said, I am an old woman in a 40 year old body. And I'll never forget that. Like that moment stuck with me for, I mean, I was gonna say for the rest of my life, but up until now. And I just, I never wanna be like that. I, I, I never want to feel old inside of my heart and you know I'm really lucky because my parents are like that we have so much fun with them my in-laws are like that you know and I choose friends like that as well right who always want to learn and uh, and just want to get the the best out of life so I hope that this video helps you a little bit um, I'd like to know if you've got any other ways any other strategies that you use to stay youthful and as always i love to hear from you so if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and until next time bye for now different face shapes will oh my god <laughs> yep my little bert and ernie eyebrows okay i'm gonna have to see if i can dig up a photo of me with blue eyeshadow it's it's not good. It's not a good look. I thought I looked like a giant blueberry. I had blue eyeshadow, I had a blue dress on, and I really thought I looked like a giant blueberry. It was really bad. Okay. <laughs>